Hello, I'm High Hill Knight, and welcome to my review of Barbie and Her Sisters in The Great Puppy Adventure. Yes, that's the whole title. <laughs> I give the movie an A, a solid firm A. All right, well, if you're unfamiliar with the Barbie director home video uh, market for the past couple years, yeah, or uh, if you haven't been uh, following Barbie for several years, uh, let me give you uh, things to just bring it to speed. First of all, uh, when it comes to the Barbie movie, it's one of two things. Either Barbie is playing Barbie herself, Barbie Roberts, or she's playing some type of fictional princess. Uh, for instance, uh, she's been Princess Lumina, Princess Alexa, Princess Kara, Princess Courtney, and various of the uh, princess royal uh, magical stories in the DVD series. Or, like in this movie, she's actually Barbie Roberts, the overachieving, she's been this, she's been that, she's been the other thing, she's had dozens of jobs yet, constantly looks gorgeous and somehow manages to maintain her uh, figure and a positive attitude about life and things like that. So in this movie, she is Barbie Roberts. The other thing you need to know is that Barbie now has three siblings. When I was growing up, uh, just playing introducing Skipper was cool. Then several years down the road, they introduced uh, baby Stacy. I'm like, okay, fine. But in this movie, I learned that, oh, now there's a third sibling. Uh, the third sibling is Chelsea. And in this movie, uh, the four sisters, they travel to uh, Willowtown, uh, the place where their grandmother lives. And they're just going to visit Grandma for the summer. Uh, there's a festival in town called Willow Fest. And they're all looking forward to that experience, especially Barbie, because being the overachiever that she is, she was like once a uh, junior mayor for the day. She was once uh, won a contest at that time. And one of her best friends from her childhood lives there. And she looks forward to spending time with her uh, best friend. Uh, and Chelsea, baby Chelsea, she was an uh, infant during that time frame. So she's upset that she has no real memories of uh, Willow Fest or the town or the history there, while her siblings, they all do have some memories because they were old enough to enjoy it. So that's the motivation of those two characters. Uh, Skipper, she's a tech girl. She just loves technology. She's constantly on her uh, tablet the whole time. And Stacy, she uh, just wants to enjoy life and enjoy time, and she's determined to uh, succeed. Uh, the story is that their grandmother, uh, she has a dog of her own, and the dog have puppies, conveniently four puppies. And each puppy uh, winds up being the pet of one of the sisters. So the puppies are um, uh, Honey, Rookie, DJ, and Taffy. Uh, so what's interesting about this movie is that you already have the four girl characters as your principal characters, and now you have four puppy characters, and the puppies don't talk to humans like in some animated features. The, uh, the puppies talk amongst themselves, but when humans hear them, it just barks and barks and things like that. So you got eight characters you got to somehow balance, and then you got a couple of sub characters. You got the grandma, you got uh, these two uh, carnival men who are the villains of this story, you got them. And uh, you even have a little bit of the best friend of Barbie that you got established. So with all these characters, uh, you think the film would be in trouble, but in fact, it wasn't. That's one of the reasons why I give this movie an A. Uh, it somehow managed to balance all of these characters and give them uh, some interesting developments and beats and uh, caricatures better than a lot of the major big budget uh, Hollywood films that I've seen. So that's definitely something that's great. And of course, it's Barbie, so you know it's going to be wholesome and friendship and charming. You know, it's going to be action, but nothing too perilous. You know, almost no one's going to die. Uh, their grandfather has passed away, but uh, it's and they're sad about it a little bit. And the grandmother missed a little bit, but you know, it's not like a tragic death or anything like that. You know, it just passed away, and that's let's say that's part of life. Uh, so, along with the uh, sisters just trying to experience uh, Willow Fest. The main story is that the town is in trouble. Uh, it's in financial trouble. Businesses are closing. 
Willow Fest is not the, as great as it used to be, but there's a, a legend of a, tr uh, a treasure. Uh, and Barbie's grandfather, he wanted to find that treasure with very young Barbie, but he never got to. So now the sisters, they want to try to find the treasure. Uh, first, just for the fun and excitement of finding the treasure. But as they learn with the town being in such peril, if they find the treasure, they can donate it to the town and save the town. So that's the main story. It's a very fun time. Very good balance of all the characters. It's fun. It's wholesome. Uh, if you want to just sit your child down to enjoy it, that's fine. If you want to enjoy it yourself, that's fine. Because it's very good balance of all the characters. And uh, I was very uh, impressed by that balance, by that charm. And it's a great addition to the Barbie legacy. One of the DVD extras of this uh, video was Super Sparkle, uh, one of the movies Barbie as another princess gained superpowers. So this was a little uh, comic book type tale of Super Sparkle. I liked it very much. I mean, if you know me, I love anything with superheroes, so I did enjoy that little uh, comic strip. Uh, but it's interesting, she uses the power in the comic strip that she didn't use in the main movie. And uh, there's nothing wrong with the power, just that before she used that power, I made a joke about myself of her using that power. I said, hey, well, why don't you just do this, just as a joke in reference to another very, 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 very famous superhero movie. And I'll just leave it at that. But I found it funny that that's what she did, so I got a little extra kick from that uh, comic book of Super Sparkle. So along with it being funny, personally, I give it a little, I would give it a little plus if I were to rate it just for uh, doing something that I was joking at the time when I saw it and they actually did it. Okay, so that's my review of Barbie and Her Sisters and The Great Puppy Adventure. I really enjoy it. I really recommend it. If you're a fan of the Barbie brand, if you want to show something for your kids, or you just really, really, really want something different uh, for your movie night, uh, check out Barbie and Her Sisters in the Great Puppy Adventure. Please like or dislike this video, whichever you prefer, and definitely subscribe to my channel. Once again, I'm High Hill Knight, and remember, find inspiration everywhere.